Welcome to Mornings with the Mayor. Boy, you can see the screen in the back. What a great show we're going to have today with these two youngsters here. And uh, Colin is no stranger. He was here last year. We we're going to talk about the play coming up at Ben Salem High School. And uh, if you look up there, you see Charlie Brown's name. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. And Colin, you're a good man, brother. You was on here last year with the show. Yep. And uh, it was a great success, by the way. And uh, we have a newcomer this year to our show here in Ben Salem, the Township Show. Uh, Nicole, Nicole Mottershead, and she is a senior, and uh, I understand you're going to go into drama, theater, yes. and believe it or not, we talked about this last year, and he still hasn't cooked <laughs> me anything, call him, <laughs> in the culinary, and he's going to be a great cook, and if you look at that smile, you know he'll be on TV cooking shortly. <laughs> Uh, but don't forget, cook me up something, will you? I'll you know, look, Ben Salem guy, you know, I know. what I mean? I'll hook you and up. And don't, just because I'm a town, don't make a spaghetti, okay? Oh, of course not. Okay. <laughs> but hey, we're going to get started with the show, and we're going to talk all about it, and we'll let the two stars do most of the talking now. And I'll start out, oh, start always with a lady to, to my right. And Nicole, why don't you give us a little rundown of Lucy? Okay, so Lucy is like Charlie Brown's main antagonist. Um, throughout the show, she's constantly on his back, like bossing him around and things. But then, at the end, you see it's they're finally like Are they finally get along. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, I understand it's going to be a great show again. This is the first time, right? Ben Salem yes. ever did this show, so that's that's in itself that's worth coming out to go see. And I know most of the people they come out every year to the shows. It's a great show to that's put on by the drama club there at Ben Salem. Colin, Charlie Brown, brother. Right. Tell us a little bit about Charlie Brown in this show. Charlie Brown is an interesting character. He, uh, he's a little depressed, I guess you could say, on his daily lifestyle. And he, he just wants to be happy and like all. He's not a mayor, all. is he? But no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but he really just holds the whole show together, keeps all the characters together. Um, he's the main character. But yeah, everyone they're all friends with him, but they don't really know why, because he's just kind of blah. Is it, <laughs> it is it a favorite one of your? Uh, I, I've character? enjoyed I've enjoyed playing it so far. Really? Yeah, it's a lot yeah. of fun. It's hard because we're playing little kids, but we're still in our yeah. normal bodies. Well, yeah, I, I, that's right. That was a comic strip. I mean, mm -hmm. if you go way back, as a comic strip, I believe the show went on. I was trying to read up on it in '67, uh, I think when the show actually went mm -hmm. on Broadway and it lasted for almost 2,000 shows. Mm -hmm. So uh, obviously it, it was a great show. And we're looking forward to it here in Ben Salem. Uh, tell me about, I know you gotta be practicing now, you gotta be doing your thing, are you excited? Yeah, it's really exciting. It's a really kid-friendly show. So like last year we did Hello Dolly, which was more for like yeah, the adults. Yeah. But this year it's great, we're hoping to get a lot of kids in the audience. Yeah, I have grandkids, great grandkids. I think we'll get them there for that. That it, it is a. Uh, I I never saw it on Broadway. I never saw it, but I understand talking to a lot of people. Even in my office, yesterday we were talking about the drama club coming on. That it was a great show to people that went to see it. You know, and you say it's for kids, but uh, the grown-ups actually get something to laugh about yeah. for a change instead of uh, you know all the stuff that we watch. So be pretty good. And and your practice. What do you think coming off? Oh yeah, we're yeah. we're getting along. Uh, we've tried to start running some of the acts so far. Um, it's as far as you would expect since we're halfway <laughs> through. Uh, but yeah. Oh, you're halfway through. Uh, Just about. I think yeah. there's about a month, a little under a month left of rehearsals until. Yeah. The well, let's let's talk about that. And November twentieth is the first show. Mm -hmm. The twenty first and the twenty second and the twenty second. There's a matinee. Yep. And uh, I guess that's Saturday. Yes. So you can all figure Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So Thursday night opening. That's mm -hmm. always a neat night to be there, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, and uh, on the matinee, uh, a lot of folks and children ought to really mm -hmm. be there on that because there's no reason that they can't, folks can't bring yeah. their kids. Uh, well, you got to fill me in. What? Do, what? What's? What are you? Why are you so excited about this? I don't want to give too much away, Mr. Miller. <laughs> well, it's not giving it away. Tell me about your excitement. I mean, oh, you don't well, have to tell us about act. I mean, you've I, been here last year. You did the uh, Hodo Dolly, and uh, you're back again. So mm -hmm. obviously, you love what you're doing. Yep. So this it is real exciting. It's a it's a fun show to do with a smaller cast, but um, we have our director has added ensemble as like the chorus in the back in some scenes uh, as needed to just open it up for kids who didn't have an opportunity to get a lead. 
but pretty much all the leads are around the same level of like stage time and whatnot. So it's a lot of fun for everyone that's involved. Well, uh, Nicole. I mean, I, I, I agree with what excited. he said. <laughs> yeah, I know you're, you, you're excited. You got a great smile. Come on, tell us. We want them to come see the show. <laughs> well, it, it's basically what it is, is it's a day in the life for Charlie Brown. So it's a bunch of the different comic strips put together. So it's, it's just a lot of different emotions. You get to play with each of the scene, and they're really fun characters. What do you say you antagonize them? Tell them, you know, what are you doing to them? I mean... Well, you know how Lucy, always in the comic books, she's always teasing him about the little red-headed girl and about how he's a blockhead and things like that. <laughs> and now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Good stuff. And uh, well, let's talk about the price of the tickets. Go yeah. ahead, Kyle. Start um, it. For reserved seats, they're $10, so you can obviously pick your seat prior to coming to the show. Uh, $7 for general admission, just anywhere you'd like to sit. You can buy them at the door. And then on Saturday for the matinee, all seats are five dollars. Well, really, we'll repeat that again. Do you remember what they are? Repeat <laughs> the sale of the tickets. It's ten dollars for reserved tickets, seven dollars for general admission, and five dollars for all seats at the matinee. Okay, and that this—that's nothing today to go see a show. <laughs> My goodness, for bring, is there a special for kids, for little kids? No, there isn't. Josh. No, that's fine. The matinee is designed for the kids. For the matinee, that's yeah. a $5 show. Yeah, and we'll yeah. have some concessions geared towards the kids that will be on sale as well. I know Josh is talking. I don't know if he doesn't have a mic on him, but <laughs> the Saturday show is what he's saying is, is kind of geared for the kids at 5 bucks. So uh, how can you go wrong? Uh, and, it's, and it's our Ben Salem kids. Look, look at this guy. He's going to be cooking for us. Come on. <laughs> Maybe you could throw something in there, the, the night of the play, like? Maybe. Maybe we'll know? have, like, a special thing at the concession <laughs> stand you can buy made yeah. by me. <laughs> and I can come running up <laughs> again finally cook me something. Exactly. Uh, isn't that neat, though? We're talking about drama, and we're talking about, and here's Colin, and last year we went through the same thing that's into culinary, and he wants to be a cook. I think you're cooking now. He's got a job. He's cooking. He's starting out. Uh, so it's really neat. It's really good stuff. And uh, Charlie Brown coming up, and uh, you're getting next to the last word. So I'm getting next to the last yeah, word. Yeah, you keep talking. So I want to hear what you want the people to do. I want to know. Why. I want the people to come out and see this awesome show. It's going to be great. Um, I mean, we've told you as much as we can tell you without giving too much away. Okay. Okay. Um, but it's a good show for everybody. It's got adult humor. Kids will get a, understand most of the jokes. It's funny because the we're playing little kids, but we use like adult vocab vocabulary and things like that. So some of the kids won't get the jokes, but the adults will understand the stuff. I did, well, you got, but the kids will understand a lot mm -hmm. of it. You, Nicole, have the last word. I have the last word. Yep. Well, if you're coming to Charlie Brown, you should also come check out Ben Salem has a haunted theater, and that's going up tonight and tomorrow night from six to nine at the high school. And today is the show is on Thursday, so let them know you tonight that that's going on. Uh, I have to ask, uh, Darren, is, will this show today? It's will show today, so they will get the message. Good job. And Tickets for that are five dollars. Okay. It's it's really scary, so you should all come to it. Yeah. And the last word on the show. Good man, Charlie Brown. Come on. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you there at the show. And uh, you sound excited. It yeah. sounds like the kids are, I like the part where you say all the kids will get on. Mm -hmm. uh, they even have, you said, in the, they'll have some courses and yep. stuff. So all the kids are involved. It's not just three or four children. You're not children, for goodness sakes. But they're <laughs> playing children. Exactly. They're playing children. They're young men and women. And I urge you to come out as always. Ben Salem is always number one in everything we do. And there's all of our listeners now, they get this around Bucks County, so we want to let them know we are number 46 in the whole country. Did you know that? I, I know now. We were, by Money Magazine, number 46 place to live and work in the country. We're number one. And we'll, yeah, I agree. That's why I look at it. <laughs> no, Colin, that's the way, hey. I, when I hear number one, then I'll be satisfied, but it's a true. Money Magazine. So, and it's a lot because of what 
our youngsters do in their schools and, and how good Ben Salem really is, and you're all part of that, and I thank you. I thank both of you for your, for your help and what you're doing for our community. Whether you know it or not, you're volunteering and you're doing things that people get involved in, and, and uh, I know what it does for me, and I know for our true Ben Salem people out there, you'll be there to watch this show. And it's coming up, don't forget, November 20th, 21st, 22nd, a matinee on the 22nd, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, and we're going to see you there? Yeah. Uh, do you sing in it at all? Yes, I do. You, do you? Yes. Yeah, I do. You sing <laughs> yeah. you got a great smile, both of you. You light up the, this will be a great show. Everybody just sees your smile. Nicole, thank you thank for you. coming on. Good luck on the opening on the 20th. And Colin, again, to you, good luck. And thank you very much. Keep cooking. I will. All right? I will. <laughs> Till next time, everybody. God bless.